capital and it's going to be Wow. I'm taking the spot down at half time, by the way. <laughs> pound of gold, 20 pounds of energy, 10 pounds of me pockets. So we got out <laughs> We've got a big one, but there's only 64 of you, so we don't Okay. Okay, now. Okay, uh, nice to see all the Avatonians together. Welcome to the uh, blue boat. Yeah. Really good to be here. What we're trying to do tonight is uh, something really interesting, I think. Uh, the thing that we've all got in common, I guess, is that we all love the blue boys. And that we're all great Evertonians. And, uh, I mean, I'm interested in theatre and uh, poetry and music and art. But the one thing I, I never miss is an Everton match. No matter where I'm working around the world, I make sure I try, no matter what, to get home on a Saturday if I can. Or, come on up, John. <laughs> two, more, two more of the cast, subs. <laughs> Should be a warm up. And, um, the great thing about what we do yeah, is I go to the I go to the pub, the same pub every week. Tony and Sandra just sitting at the back there, manager and manageress. The Barlow Arms, which actually is called the Dark House, but I'll tell you more about that later why it's called the Dark House. Some call it bleak some people call it bleak house, not because it's not a nice pub, it's because of this gang here. It's a lovely place, George. And the great thing what we're trying to do tonight is we're not gonna try and tell you the history of Everton. You know, by saying in 1906 this happened or this happened or this happened. Although we see bits of that. What we're trying to do, because if, you, if you're interested in 100 years in, of Everton in the top flight, you can buy the book. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a video out soon. You know, there's a lot on the television. I'm sure the directors will have an extra glass of white wine and a, a mushroom volivant at their next meeting to celebrate it or whatever awesome. directors do. No, no disrespect to them. And any of this rubbish that I hear about, oh, Everton don't know to or, how to organise anything, it's absolute rubbish. Because when we asked if we could do a little preview of this to the directors and the shareholders, they didn't not write back or not answer though. They said, yeah, come up to the club and show it. It was after the Southampton game. And if you remember, Radzinski scored in the last few seconds. Yeah. Hey, come on, come on. And everybody was really wound up. And when we got to the club, the directors, uh, Bill Kenwright was there, uh, Philip Carter and David Moyes, you know, and they were great to all the young people. They were nice to us, they were friendly, they were warm. So any of this Everton don't know how to do things, that's well in the past, because we are the people. And this is the people's club. So what we're going to try and do tonight is nobody up here is an actor. Most of these... Yeah. <laughs> We've never done. They, they've never been in a play. This is not a play. We are not acting. No, hang on, Jay. Turn that one off a bit. Now it's all right, George. It's all okay. So, what we're going to try and do is just reproduce a little bit of what it's like for us before and after every match in the dark house. Because no matter what, that's what's kept us going together for all these years. So we're just going to try and reproduce it. So there's no... You'll see me running around a lot, pressing buttons, uh, shouting, it's your turn next. It's not... This isn't, you know, the tamer of the shrew. It's not, uh, you know, a midsummer night's dream. You know? George, you shout them. If you want to get up out the audience, let them do it. Well, we've got a mate of ours that we're going to talk to later. Don't worry. Ted, could you do me a favour? <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Do you know what the amazing thing is? This is Ted, by the way, to be more about him. He's only 19. But he is an actor. Shut up. <laughs> so, what we're going to do first... Hello, for Mum. There's lots of... This is our families as well. We're here with our kids, you know, our wives, and our children, and our grandchildren. So we're going to try and tell little stories about the pub, Everton, and what it means to us. So stick with us, OK? You know, uh, we're not looking for Oscars. We haven't got black tights and a score. Yeah. Yeah. I nearly was going to say we're not working with sooty, but obviously we are. <laughs> back in, back. So, I be let's go. Nice and 
and that. Right, I'm going to talk about my first day, day at the match, right? It was in August, 96, and we were playing Newcastle United. And it was the first time I ever went to match. So at home, I was waiting for my uncle to come, and I was really excited about going to match, but I was a bit scared because I didn't know what to expect, right? And when we got to the car park, the whole area was just full of blue shirts, and I've never seen anything like it in my life. I was like, I was just really shocked with how many people was there. And I remember going through the turnstile, giving me a ticket in. The atmosphere was really buzzing, and it was like everyone was just there to have a good time. And I can remember getting the program, which is this, and some toffee, you know, some Everton wins. And I was like, this is really good because I made me cry. And then we went in, sat on the top balcony, and I couldn't see anything. I was like, <laughs> I was just proper, I was like, because I was so young, I was acting like a baby, like, I don't want to sit here anymore. And there's some seats to the left, right of us. So we moved over, and you could see the whole pitch. And I remember seeing the Toffee Girls giving out to sweets. I was like, I want one. But I never, ever got one. And then, <laughs> we, we were I always wanted one of them Toffee Girls. <laughs> 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 and we were playing Newcastle, right? And we won that game. And I remember I was just really overwhelmed with the whole atmosphere and everything. And my granddad's ashes were there. And it was, for me, it was really special to go to the place where I want to see my granddad and also to be by Everton. There you go. Okay, great. Good luck. Thank you. 